Hey y'all, Rob here with ATX Legal, and today I'm changing the video that I had planned to make because I got a message from one of my clients and it really pissed me off. So we're gonna be talking about a spam mailer today that was sent out by the Ignition Interlock Company Life Safer. That's L-I-F-E-S-A-F-E-R. And I definitely want to put them on blast because this is some shady stuff going on and I want to let people know. And I also want to let people know to look out for this and not be confused by this misleading mailer that's being sent out to people. Now on my screen, I'm gonna share the mailer and this was sent to me by a client and I got his permission to share it with of course his information redacted. But you'll see very clearly it looks, they're trying to make it look like a legal document. So it has a caption there as if it was a court creating that caption and then it formats the page like a legal document. So if you look at it and you're not reading the words, you might think this is an official legal document. Of course it's not, it's just a spam mailer and it's got all kinds of misinformation on it. So now let's go past that caption and look down where it says nature of the action. And again, they're making this out in a very deceptive way to try and make you think that this is a legal document. And it's being sent out to people who have been arrested for a DWI and they're taking advantage of people who have maybe never been a part of the court system before. They don't know how it works. They can't tell immediately that this is not an official legal document. And of course they're playing on people's fear because someone who's been arrested may be worried that they're gonna be going back to jail. They are trying to comply every way that they can. And then they get this letter in the mail that looks like it's something that they have to do. And the thing that it's trying to tell them that they have to do is to go get an ignition interlock device installed in their vehicle. And of course they provide you the way to do that through their own website at lifesafer.com or whatever their website is. And to make matters worse, they give out all kinds of misinformation about things that you don't actually have to do, but it's saying that you have to do. It confuses an ALR hearing with an occupational license and uses all the wrong terms. It looks like it's intentionally confusing, but let me just be clear about something. You do have 15 days after your arrest to request an ALR hearing but that has nothing to do with your SR-22 certificate, which you would only need later if you're getting an occupational license. They mention a restricted driver's license, which I can only assume means an occupational license, but that's not actually the purpose of the ALR hearing. The occupational license would come later. And then of course at the end it says, scan the QR code to go to our website and get our ignition interlock device. Most people who have been arrested for a DWI do not need to install an ignition interlock device. If you've had a second DWI or an over 0.15 BAC, sometimes the court will in fact require you to install that ignition interlock device, but that information would be in your court paperwork, in your bond paperwork, and you would want to talk to your attorney about how to get that done and if you need to have that done. But the main point is not everyone needs an ignition interlock device. So this is being sent out to people who have not necessarily been court ordered to have an ignition interlock, and they're going to read this letter and think that they have to go to Life Safer and get that ignition interlock device. It's deceptive, it's horrible, it makes me lose some of my faith in humanity, and if you get a letter like this, the very best thing to do is ignore it. Now, I just got this letter this morning, so I'm still reacting to it. I did reach out to a consumer protection attorney that I know to see if there's any way we can sue LifeSafer over this. I'm not sure. A lot of times companies who are sending out deceptive mailers like this know where to toe that line where they don't cross over into violating consumer protection laws. However, I'm just looking this one over and it looks like they may have actually crossed that line. We'll see. Another remedy we might have is that we can go to the commissioner's court. There are only four or five different vendors who are approved to install ignition interlocks in Travis County and they all have to be approved by the commissioner's court. And there is a section there about ethics. So we can bring this up to the commissioner's court and hopefully get Life Safer off the list of approved vendors in Travis County, feel like that would be a big win. Other than that, we can just put them on blast with videos like this and just ignore that letter if you get it in the mail or better yet, bring it to your attorney, show them, ask your attorney how to handle it. Of course, none of this is legal advice, but if you have received one of these mailers, I'd like you to get in touch with me. Just comment down below if you've received one. And if you do need legal advice on your specific issue, you can always visit us at atx.legal.